everyone, this is Maureen and welcome to My Crochet Story. Today is Amigurumi Wednesday and I am here to show you my first little lovey that I made from um, the knotted loveys from Mama Made Minis. Now I showed you this book a couple of weeks ago and um, told you I was going that there's several in here that I really want to get my hands on. So I went ahead and did up one to kind of give you my take on it and um, let you know how I feel about it. But before I get to that, let me say thank you to all of you that are here. You know that I appreciate every single time that you show up. And if this is your first time here, I ho sure hope that you're an Amigurumi fan because that's what today's video is all about. Now, if you are, I do have over on my channel a playlist that's all about Amigurumi Wednesdays. And I also have a playlist on um, some books that I have acquired as far as Amigurumi is concerned. So let me invite you to go over there and take a look. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button that's down there in the corner. And then look for the bell with the little hugs on the side because it'll let you know every time I upload some content. So, let me remind you real, real quick. This is the book that I'm working out of. It is called Mama's Mad Minis Knotted Loveys. Now, what these remind me of are like the little rag dolls. Um, there's not a lot of stuffing to them. In fact, most of it, you just crochet up the parts, stitch it together, and the only thing that really has much stitching, I mean stuffing at all, is the head. Now, I've only made one lovey, so I don't know how the others are going to be. I'm sure that you're probably going to want to stuff some pieces, but the main thing about it is, is that you want it nice and fluffy and snuggly, so that's what the loveys are all about. But, I did go ahead and make one. Let me show you who I picked. Picked the first one right out of the box. This is Dash Dino. Very, very easy construction. Um, yes, there was not much to do with it, honestly. There were, the only thing I had to stitch were the arms and um, the little spikes that go across the back. Now, for my test, uh, I did it in a four-way because I honestly wanted to see what it would look like, see if I could meet gauge, you know, that kind of thing. Well, folks, I most certainly did. I used, um, now I've lost the ball band. Uh, this was Line Brands um, Wool Ease Recycled. I really like it. It's nice and soft. It is 80% uh, acrylic and 20% wool smells really good it's got a nice nice feel to it and i do like it as far as a four weight if that's what i'm going to do with my loveys so let me show you how mine turned out there he is isn't he cute now there's his little back now I was not as not able to put as many spikes on here as it called for I did do up uh, these they're supposed to be two big ones yes and then one two three four five six seven of these little ones well I couldn't put another one here on the tail and this one was supposed to be moved down and that one's there so I really kind of ran out of space but uh, I felt like honestly for the four weight that this was plenty to put on his tail now, if I was to do him again in another four weight, I probably would not put these big ones here. I think because he's a little dino, I would just keep all of his spikes little. Um, I don't think that it would make that much difference. Um, I just, but that's my own personal preference. You, if you were to do a little one like this, you might want to go ahead and follow directions for the big ones. Now, the other thing I liked about this little lovey, and I have not looked at all, any of the others, was as soon as you get the head done and stuffed, you go right on into his body and into his legs. Folks, the only thing I had to make was his arms and his little spikes to stitch on there. That was it. And quite honestly, I got him done in a long afternoon. I started right after lunch, and I finished him up right after, well, of course, you know, I took a break to fix supper and everything, but 
finished him up. I mean, he's he's a great one day project with other things, you know, going on and stuff like that. Now, um, I did use it recommended a let's see, let me see my hooks. Oh, let me go back over here to where it has the breakdown. Okay. I did use a F for the head and a G for the body. I didn't pay attention to the directions because it said to use a G for the body and an H, I mean a G for the head and H for a body, which means a four millimeter and a five millimeter. I didn't do that, didn't mean to. I, I just flew off on my own thinking that since it was a four weight and amigurumi that I was going to use the four and the five. Well, yeah, I kind of mean, I mean the F and the G. But I still made him. He is just a tad under um, 10 inches, which is fine with me. I think a lot of it might have to do with the way I knotted up his little legs, but that's okay too. I mean, it is perfect for just a little one to grab onto their little hands, you know, so uh, I do think in the future I will be making some more in the smaller uh, dimensions for babies that are just crawling or you know still on their tummies and stuff I would though recommend making this out of cotton if that's what you were going to do um, but like I said the stitching the directions are fantastic I mean I had no no questions at all now um, I don't know and I really can't tell here although I guess in looking at it it's probably that way they use the half double crochet for the body, and so uh, to me it's a little bit more open. Your stitches are not as tight as they are when we use single crochets for um, amigurumis, but that's okay because you're not stuffing them anyway. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, I, I really enjoy doing him. I do have some five and six weight uh, yarn coming because you know I don't keep that in stock. Um, so I do have that coming. I will be doing this pattern again in the five and in the six. Uh, this goes all the way up to the seven jumbo. Um, I'm not going to go. I, I'm not going to mess with that because the only thing I would be buying it for would be for these little loveys here. And I just don't see me using a seven bulky anywhere else. So I'm going to stick with the five and six. But I will give you my impression and you know compare them side by side but so far folks i mean number one i was happy that i made him number two i think the more that i've played with him i've fallen in love with him more and more so um if if this is something that you think you might love to do especially for the younger children in your family uh even your young grandchildren in fact you know what i don't see what's wrong with uh making one of these bigger ones the six or the seven and give them to your bigger kids as well bigger grandkids you know uh who doesn't like something to just sit around and hold on to for a little bit you know what i mean so anyway that's my take so far i will be catching up with you next week uh hopefully when my yarn gets here and i can whip out another one of these to let you see in real life the differences and what my take is on using the bigger yarn and which one's going to be my favorite moving forward. So thank you again so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this little critique. Uh, again, this is my own opinion. There may be those of you out there that have already been working in the book or have been working on other little lovey patterns that you like and you may have a totally different take on it. This is just my first time doing it, so we're going to see how well... Um, I, I like this moving forward. But guys, there are so many cute little patterns in here. I can't see me just doing one being done. So in the meantime, please remember to be the light out there in the darkness for someone today because you never know. Could be your light that they need to see. Again, thank you so much for being here. I'm truly honored that you spent the time with me. So until tomorrow, I love you guys. Bye.